Hi everyone, it's Colleen and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please hit the little bell to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can get all of my videos in the future. Today we're going to be playing with handmade holiday ornaments. So let's get started. So I'm working with a package of six ornaments here and my Nouveau glitter. I have a lot of this Nouveau glitter that I don't use very much. So this is a great technique to use that glitter. And I'm also going to be needing two Dixie cups. So the package that I got is just a package of six and they're plastic. Um, but you still have to be careful when you're working with these that they don't break and you don't cut yourself. But the first step is to take the lid off so that I have an opening to work with because I'm going to be filling this up with glue and I'm using a PPA um, liquid mat. It's a matte liquid glue. I think any liquid glue would work. I just um, chose this one and I'm adding a generous amount inside the ornament. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to line the inside of the ornament with that glue. And it takes a while for it to um, get all the way through the whole ornament. So what I do is I flip it upside down into that empty Dixie cup. And then I let all the excess glue seep into that Dixie cup. Can you see that there? So now my ornament is lined with glue. So I let it sit about an hour or two to make sure that all the excess glue is gone. Now I'm ready to add my glitter. I made um, a little handmade uh, thingamabob, I forget what they're called, to add my glitter in. And I also added some embellishments. They're little stars because they really give a cool effect along with the glitter. So now I'm going to add a generous amount of glitter inside the bulb. And then what I'm going to end up doing is shaking it around. So word to the weary who don't like messes, this could get messy. As you can see here, I made a big mess, but that's what happens when you work with glitter. It, the end result is well worth it though, guys. So now I'm going to put my finger over the top and I'm just going to shake everything until I get the whole inside lined up with that glitter and the glue will help the glitter adhere. And then I'm going to take the excess glitter and dump it into a second Dixie cup so that I can reuse that glitter at another time. So I'm just shaking it a few times to get all the excess glitter out. And now you can see how gorgeous that looks. Can you see those embellishments in there as well? So now I'm ready to do my next step, which is to add some alcohol inks to the outside of the ornament. So I'm using an alloy in mind, and then I'm using two colors, which are Laguna and Everglades. And then I'm also adding a little alcohol blending solution to make sure that everything goes smoothly on the outside of my ornament. And what I'm gonna do is just lightly tap around the ornament. Alcohol ink dries quickly, so this should be a pretty easy process. I don't want to completely cover my ornament up with alcohol ink because I do want the glitter to show through a little bit. And I'm using a couple shades of green, but you can certainly go in and use as many colors as you want, as long as it doesn't end up turning into mud. But you can add different colors, blues, reds. I just wanted to keep this ornament basic with greens and gold. And so that's how, why I only use those colors. But Look how pretty that looks. You've got the glitter, the embellishments seeping through, and then you've got that pop of color with the green alcohol ink. Oh, I love how that looks. So pretty. So now that I've got this all ready to go, I can add my decorations. So what I'm gonna do is use my hot glue gun and add some flowers from Prima. And I really like using a glue gun because it seems like it adheres right away, whereas some other glue may not adhere quickly. Um, and then I'm just working with placement. I'm just playing around with the foliage that I have and trying to set it up so that it all looks cohesive. And all of my flowers and foliage are gonna be on the front side of the ornament. But you can certainly decorate wherever you want on your ornament. You can go around in a circle. You can um, decorate in any spot you want. Use your imagination and, and 
Think about stickers. You could use stickers here. And you can even stamp on this, believe it or not. You can um, heat emboss. So you can take a stamp, place the stamp in your hand, um, and then use your ink pad and then gently ink onto the ornament and then heat emboss it if you're really, really careful with the heat embossing. But so you could stamp a little happy holidays on the back side of this ornament. Um, Jennifer McGuire has a great video on how to do that. So if you're interested in stamping on here, watch her video. Um, I think it's from a year or two ago. She does a great job explaining how you can do that. But this is a fantastic gift idea for people, a handmade gift idea. I mean, no matter what you celebrate, you really... Uh, an ornament is a wonderful thing to have. You could use blue colors for Hanukkah, um, green and red for uh, Christmas, and um, for the other holidays, you could just kind of pick out the colors that would be applicable. So I'm getting pretty filled up here, getting this to where I really like it. So now the next step is I'm going to um, decorate a little bit around the flowers because I want the flowers to look a little more distressed. So I'm actually taking this sponge with the alcohol ink on it and I'm going around each of the flowers to add a little bit of that green onto the flowers because I feel like it helps it blend a little bit better and gives it a bit of a distressed look. And then I'm adding a gold wax onto the flowers too because it gives it a shimmer. And and once I'm done with that, it's going to look really, really pretty. Doesn't that look great? So now that I've got that done, the final step is just to add a little bling because who doesn't love a little blingy shine? So I think that this is Prima as well. And they come in sheets, but I'm tearing off a little piece here and there from that sheet so that I can just strategically add some bling in just a couple places to finish off this ornament because it just completes it when you add the um, the bling and this is self-adhesive so it's just a piece of cake to do this isn't that beautiful so now that I have this decorated it's time to do the final touch which is the bow and I am not good with bows as you can see here it is the, the struggle is real with me guys but I did manage to get the bow on there. And I don't like how they're sticking out like that. It just, I couldn't get it to lie flat. So I'm gonna add some tape to each side so that I can get that part of the bow to lie a little flatter. You can see me adhering it there. And that helps the bow stay in place. And that's it to this, guys. That's all there is to that beautiful ornament. I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting that bell and hit the like button. Thanks so much, guys.